Yo, what's up guys? So welcome back to another video. So inside today's video, what I'll actually be showing you guys is how to make a low poly portal inside of Blender. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Before we resume, I'd like to mention my Twitter and my Discord server. My Twitter is at Rollgem and also my Discord server will be inside the description. And yeah, thank you. Now let's get right into the video. So when you're in Blender, what I actually recommend is turn on cavity. So all you just gotta do is go up here and click on cavity. And after that, go here on where it says screen and click both. After you do that, remove the default cube and press shift A to open up this add-on and import the cylinder. After you import the cylinder, what you're actually gonna do is click that arrow and type in A. Now you're going to go inside the edit mode and then make sure to go on to your axis by pressing five and one. After that, make sure you select the top part of the cylinder. Just bring this up and then rotate just like this extrude rotate a bit and extrude again and it should be just like this and what you're gonna do now just add a bit more detail is add a loop cut right here by pressing ctrl r scale it down and just bevel it just like that and then what you're gonna do is just move remove this face over here and what you're gonna do now is just mirror your model so um just like that add the mirror modifier and now what you're gonna do is just fix this up by uh just mess around with it and see what works for you so after you marry just move this one over here just like that and you should be good after that turn on clipping and select uh these vertices over here and extrude once it should be just like this and now what you're gonna do is just actually scale this on a bit more out and we're gonna add something on top of here just for extra decoration maybe you could use like um, a cylinder and maybe you make like an orb floating on top of it for the uh, for the portal. So after you do that, make sure to apply your mirror modifier and go back to edit mode. Select uh, these vertices in the center, just like this. Duplicate it and fill it in, just like that. And this should be like the void for the teleporter and extrude this backwards. And it should look just like this. After that, just press uh, Control L to select all of it and press P and click selection to separate the portal, the center part of the portal and the outer part of the portal away from each other. And after that, what you're gonna do is just, uh, select these edges right here, boom. And then you're gonna bevel it just like that. Hope I mess up right here just a bit. Uh, let me fix this real quick. There we go, just like that. And then you're gonna go up here and click on individual origins. This will just scale it down by itself just like this. And it should add just a little extra detail to your portal. So after that, when you do that, make sure you select the edges and press P to just separate the model from each other. And now what you're gonna do now is just import a torus, bring the uh, segments all the way down to like around uh, nine or eight, and just bring this down a bit more, just like this. And rotate on the X axis and rotate it one more time on the Z axis, just like that. So you're just gonna add this one to the top. You don't have to add this, but this is just for extra detail. So just add it to the top. And if you like, you can just maybe add uh, this part all around this uh, teleporter. And if you like to, you can also add maybe um, a ball up, up here and add gems to it. That's what I actually recommend just for extra detail. So I'm gonna try that out right now. Boom, something like this. This is the end of the video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like to see more content just check out my channel I upload every two to three days, but I haven't been uploading that much. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye